Hey everybody, good evening. Have you ever tried restoring old photos? It is a long, tedious process since the degradation artifacts are complex and the poses and expressions are diverse. And here comes the new pioneering paper, GFP GAN, a new method for real world blind face restoration that leverages a pre trained GAN model and special feature transform to restore facial details with a single forward pass so this is a paper link and uh, the formal name is towards real world blind face restoration with generative facial prior in short this paper is called gfp gun and uh, so what is blind face restoration blind face restoration aims at recovering high quality faces from low quality image counterparts suffering from degradation which may have been caused due to multiple factors such as the image being low resolution, noise, blur, compression artifacts, or other various factors. And traditional restoration models typically used uh, the GAN inversion model. They first invert the degraded image back to the latent state of the pre-trained GAN and then perform image-specific optimization technique to reconstruct the fed images. But on the contrary, GFP GAN uses delicate designs to achieve a good balance of realness and fidelity in a single forward pass of image processing i have downloaded the paper i and made some highlighted areas let's um, go through that so this is my uh, little highlighted paper of uh, on gfp again so the abstract of what it says is blind face restoration usually relies on facial priors such as facial geometry priors or reference prior to restore realistic and faithful details. However, very low quality inputs cannot offer accurate geometric prior, while high quality references are inaccessible, limiting the application in real world scenarios. In this work, we propose GFP GAN that leverages rich and diverse priors encapsulated in a pre-trained face gun for a blind face restoration so they do it via spatial feature transform layers which allow our method to achieve a good balance of realness and fidelity so our gfp gan could jointly restore facial details and enhance colors with just a single forward pass while gun inversion methods this is the this is the method the traditional uh, technique used for face restoration so these require image specific optimization at inference and um, blind face restoration aims at recovering high quality faces from low quality counterparts you already discussed this um yes in this study we leverage a uh, generative facial prior for real world blind face restoration that is a prior implicitly encapsulated in a pre-trained uh, gun model such as style gan so this is the pretend model that gfp gan uses uh, let's go ahead some of the important part yeah this is very important image uh, they give an overview of the gfp gun framework here uh, it consists of a degradation removal module unit and a pre-trained phase gun as facial prior they are breached by a latent code mapping and several channel split spatial feature transform layers this is called cs sft layers during the training we employ one intermediate restoration losses to remove complex degradation to facial component loss with discriminators to enhance facial details and three identity preserving loss to retain face identity during the training except for the global discriminative loss to introduce facial component loss this is a very important uh, aspect of this whole architecture so they introduce facial component loss with discriminators to enhance the perceptually significant face components that is eyes and mouth in order to retain identity we also employ identity preserving guidance so gfp gun is comprised of a degradation removal module unit and a pre-trained face scan which is style gan for them all right there's a bit of formulas here they have given generative facial prior latent code mapping so this is a math for the code mapping part of the architecture and uh, for their training data set uh, they use these uh, these one we 
we ran through GFP gun on FFHQ dataset, which consists of 70,000 high quality images. And we resize all images to 512 square during training. These are some uh, image to show where and how the uh, GFP gun make use uh, of special technique for restoring the eyes and mouth part. And on the benchmarking, uh, they have done, uh, this is a, this is the statistics they have given for the result of GFP gun versus other traditional models. So the quantitative results for each settings are shown in this table, table one and two. On both setting, GFP gun achieves the lowest LP IPS. This is a metric for uh, image restoration, indicating that our results is perceptually close to the ground truth. GFP gun also obtained the lowest FID and NIQE score, showing that the outputs have a close distance to the real face distribution and natural image distribution, respectively. Besides the perceptual performance, our method also retains better identity indicated by the smallest degree in the face feature embedding so this fid and niqe these are like um, uh, these are like two metrics for perceptual face restoration this is another uh, benchmarking for the gfp gun compared with other models uh, red and blue indicates the best and the second best performance. So GFP gun has a red that is the best performance on LFW test uh, for uh, both FID and NIQE test, NIQE metric. Similarly, GFP gun has the best uh, score under NIQE for Celeb child data set and uh, for the NIQE of OF photo data set as well. Uh, beside the common facial components like eyes and teeth, GFP gun also performs better in hair and ears. Uh, as the GFP prior takes the whole face into consideration rather than separate parts with SCSFT layers, our model is capable of achieving high fidelity. As shown in the last row of figure 5, most previous methods fail to recover the closed eyes, while ours could successfully restore them with fewer artifacts. Wow, this is really a game-changing paper. Okay, so I uh, there's a lot of details in this paper. Uh, you can of course go through it, and I have uh, I will put the link in the description. It's very widely available in a quick Google search as well. So overall, the overall the architecture. I will quickly go for the overall architecture. Um, <clears throat> Where did it go? Here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the proposed framework starts with the UNET degradation model. Uh, as it said, it consists of a degradation removal module UNET. Uh, so the, it starts with the UNET degradation removal module that aims to remove degradations and the ext and extract latent features from mapping to to the image to the closest styled and latent code as well as a set of multi-resolution spatial features for modulation of styling and two intermediate feature maps. The predicted features are then used in a coarse to fine manner to synthesize the restored image. And what is coarse to fine? Uh, a coarse to fine approach achieves high quality super resolution recovery based on the complementary properties of both example learning and reconstruction based algorithm. And then the next part, which is a degradation removal module. Okay, uh, I'm still in the unit. In the degradation removal removal module, it is actually a vanilla unit, except that the authors use L1 loss between the restored images at each resolution scale in the unit and the ground truth image pyramid. The latent features are taken from the bottleneck layer and the special features are obtained from the decoder part of the unit. And then the generative facial prior stage of this model. Uh, so uh, after the latent features from the bottleneck layer of the unit are transformed by several multi-layer perceptron, one per generator layer to style vectors, then the generator does not use the style vectors to output the RGB image right away. Instead, it pro produces 
intermediate convolutional features that can be further modulated by spatial features and uh, channel split feature transform that this is this part CSSFT uh, channel split feature transform layer this special feature are used to predict affine transform parameters meaning a uh, mean and std uh, standard deviation that are used to modulate the feature maps in the generator by scaling and shifting them just like ada in in the first style can interestingly the modulation is performed only on some of the channels letting the rest of the features pass through unchanged and uh, what is the uh, ultimate model objective of uh, GFP gun and that is these losses so the loss is as follows which is what they want to optimize uh, L1 and perceptual reconstruction loss adversarial loss uh, ID loss like arc face and face component loss which is obtained from several small scale discriminators trained on patches of eyes and mouth so that was the overall architecture and they have open source code very pretty recently uh, this is their github uh, repo uh, it has already got 3.1k stars uh, and very interestingly they have given the uh, given the a collab demo so this is a collab demo official collab demo We provide a collab demo for GFP GAN, another collab demo for the original paper model. Okay, I just opened the collab demo for GFP GAN, and this is uh, this is that. Um, it's it's very simple code. You can uh, quickly follow through and quickly run. I actually ran it with. Uh, uh, let's go to my own notebook that I just um, ran the same official collab notebook with my own image uh, that I had collected from an old family album of 1951 i'll come to that in a, in a second so uh what you have to to run the collab uh all the codes are pretty much given you only have to upload images or um uh, a directory so yeah, there's a choose file option here and from here you can choose a file from your own uh, local machines uh, directory system and then it gets uploaded and this this code i commented out because uh, this is for uh, running the image but uh, running the image by running the following codes or you can use a demo okay that this is what demo images i did not want to use that one so uh, all right this is a default code i did not change anything here and finally this is the important part of the code that they run the model and they plot each of the photos uh, uh side by side the original one and the restored one so quickly take a look at my original photo so this is my original photo it's a photo from 1951 and the resolution is very low uh and uh Part of the photo is also uh, degraded as you can see all these uh, noises and too much noises in the whole photo and the faces are not really not really uh, very clean and uh, absolutely no resolution at all and uh, this is the color version of the photo and it suffers from the same problem and now let's see what this code did uh, display they will uh, uh, plot quite a few images one by one look at this so this is the old photo on the left and this is the this is the after restoration i would say it's an absolutely awesome restoration really awesome look at the original photo taken uh, this is a single face taken from the multiple faces of the photo and look at the restoration it's really beautiful it's really changing the photo and these are some of the other photos this is another this is another great restoration this is original on the left and the right side is the after restoration and here it goes 
this also looks absolutely awesome lift is the original photo taken from the original photo and this is after restoration so clear so high high resolution and now take a look at the final final form final form of the whole photo so this is the color version on the left and this is a colored version after restoration on the right and the same goes for the black and white version this is the left is original and the right is after restoration significant amount of changes i'm really impressed really impressed all right so that was my introduction to gfp gun i am really excited to use this uh, use this architecture and model and the code for uh, restoring some of my old photos from my grandfather and so on thank you very much for watching